DJ Pro has a built-in stem separation software called Neuromix, and in this short video, I wanna show you how to map knobs to Neuromix. So if your controller doesn't come with Neuromix built in, then you can map it on any controller. So we're gonna press the middle button here. There's two ways to get to it now with a recent update. One way is to go to settings, MIDI devices, and then click on your controller. The other way to do it now is if you're in modes, there's a little controller icon here. We're gonna press that, select our controller, and then press this little icon. So now we are in the mapping section. This is what it's gonna, going to look like. Don't get frustrated or it's not as confusing as it looks because if you wanna find which button or knob you are mapping, you simply just either press the button or press the knob. So now I selected this knob, so CC70. You're gonna to wanna to map the target and the action. The target is where it is. So it's either deck one through four, mixer, library, looper, sampler, microphone, general. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is do deck two. And now we're gonna to go to the action. So deck two is gonna control that side of the deck and then the action. We're gonna to have to scroll down quite a bit till we get to Neuromix. So there's different ways to map it. You can map Neuromix selected channel, or you could do four channels, three channels. Since I have four knobs up here, I'm gonna do four channels. So Neuromix volume, this one's going to be the drums. Same thing, turn this, the next knob, deck two. And what's cool is you don't have to roll down again. When you open it again, it's going to be right where you left off, which makes it super easy. So bass. Next one, you just turn the knob, open it. We're right where we want to be. Deck two. So we have drums, bass. This one's going to be harmonics. And then the next one is going to be the most important one, which is the vocals. So now for these ones here, I'm going to do deck one. Um, so these are going to be deck one. So turn the knob, make sure we're in deck one. Go down to narrow mix, drums, vocals. And then make sure you press save press save, and now we could see it working. So we play the track. Drums are out, bass is out, harmonics is out. And what's really cool is songs from Tidal streaming service will allow you to use Neuromix now if you have the DJ extension. And now we look on the other side. But now what's hap what happens if you don't have all of these knobs and maybe you only have one or two knobs that you could map, there is another way to map it. So over here, we used to have a slider where you could go vocals to instrumentals. So we're gonna do that with one of these knobs. So we're gonna go to MIDI device again, select our controller, turn this knob. So now it's going to be still in deck two, but we're gonna do something else. We're gonna go down here down to narrow mix and it's narrow mix filter instrumentals acapellas so watch what this one's gonna do so with that filter you could use just one knob if you just want to go from instrumentals to acapellas which is what i do most of the time when i am using neuromix or you could go with the three or four bands and have these controlled it control it either way it works perfectly and you could map neuromix into any controller if you have an ipad with USB C and you and it allows you to map controllers and if you want to see my full review on this awesome little controller check out this video over here thank you